Hello everyone. Welcome to module six, profile tolerance and the linear tolerance. We have talking about linear tolerance in the previous module. And you also know there's uh, some issues related to linear tolerance used to specify the position tolerance because the data is not clear. In this module, we are going to explain how can we solve this problem using the profile tolerance. You look at this join here, the datum A here, and it is a profile tolerance specified to the top surface. We are going to explain this in details. First, let's have a brief look about what is profile and what is profile tolerance. First, profile is an outline of a surface. It could be flat surface, it could be a curved surface. Next, profile tolerances are used to define tolerance zone to control the form or combination of size, form, orientation, location of a feature. You could put surface here, is surface feature, which is related to true profile. And it depending upon the design requirements, profile tolerance zone may or may not be related to datums. And there's two types of profile, profile of a surface, profile of a line. In this module, we are going to see what is profile tolerance is related to which kind of scene the profile tolerance is going to control. As we mentioned, there's profile without datum and with datum. We can look, look at this one by one. First, Profile tolerance without datum. It means the tolerance zone is two parallel surface. And this surface is based on the true profile. If the true profile is a flat surface, then the tolerance zone is a flat or it's a straight surface plus minus 0 0.2 but this tolerance zone there's no datum related because there's no datum here so you can understand that this tolerance zone with 0 0.4 distance apart which is not related to the bottom surface because there's no datum the next one is the profile with datum that means this profile tolerance zone is two parallel straight surface. These two surfaces is starting from the nominal surface. The nominal surface is defined by the TD or theoretical exact dimension as well as datum. So that means here, 0 0.4 means from the true profile and the true position, you're going to have a plus and a minus 0 0.2. All of the tolerance feature supposed within this tolerance zone. All right, let's have a look at profile without data. As we mentioned before, the tolerance zone is 0 0.4 apart is two parallel surface and this turn zone is not related to the bottom surface since it's not related to the bottom surface that's why we need to put some tolerance here to ensure that something could control this position right because the profile without data cannot be used to control the position from this surface to another surface. 
this turn zone should contain all of the point of actual tolerance feature. If you look at this, this red line is the actual tolerance feature. As long as the tolerance zone can contain all of the point, then this profile is okay. This tolerance zone can move up and can move down. Now you can see all of the tolerance feature or all of the point from the real parts are within the tolerance zone. That means the actual profile tolerance is okay. You can also move this down and up as long as all of the point are within the tolerance zone. That means it controls the deformation of the top surface, but it's not related to the bottom surface. From this standpoint of view, we are going to compare it with profile tolerance and flatness. We have explained about profile tolerance without data. Let's have a look at the flatness. The definition of the flatness is is going to use to the true flat surface. The torrent zone is two straight parallel surface with 0 0.4 distance apart. From this standpoint point of view, the torrent zone of flatness is exactly the same as profile torrent zone. The torrent value is the same. The shape of torrent zone is exactly the same. And all of them is not related to the bottom surface or to any other features. As long as the torrent feature within the torrent zone, same symbol here, then the flatness or profile tolerance is going to be okay. Again, those two have the same meaning. They are identical. Or you can use this flatness to here. They're going to have the same meaning, have the same controlment. They're going to control the form deviation of the top surface. Next, we are talking about profile width data. As we mentioned, if the profile tolerance has data, then the tolerance zone is going to be related to data A based on the TED. The tolerance zone is derived from the true position or nominal position plus minus half of the tolerance value or plus minus 0 0.2 the highest tolerance boundary is 25.2 and the lowest one is 24.8 all of the point it doesn't matter the position of this point or deformation of this tolerance the feature should be seen the tolerance zone Based on this definition, we are going to know if the real measurement of this surface is worst highest point is 25.25 here. This is the worst point, the highest one. And this one is the lowest one, 24.9. And we know this profile tolerance is based on the nominal position, plus minus 0 0.2. Now the worst point is plus 0 0.25 here is out of tolerance. So that means this surface is out of tolerance. The profile is not good.
the next you're going to write report since the verse deviation to one side is 0 0.25 we are going to transfer this one side deviation to two sides 0 0.4 here is plus and minus is both side together we need to transform this one side one way deviation to two way deviation in order to comparing with the specifications we should times two of this 0 0.25 and we get 0 0.5 this is the actual profile tolerance comparing with the specifications 0 0.4 so you can put it here. The actual one is 0 0.25 plus or times, sorry, times two. And you're gonna get 0 0.5. This is the value you're gonna put in the report. This is the actual profile tolerance. And here is the specification of profile tolerance. So we can see the difference of measurement between the profile with data and profile without data. If the profile without data, all you need to do is the highest, lowest within the tolerance zone, which is not related to data. There's no data. But if there's a datum A or any datum here, the tolerance zone is related to data. In that case, you should consider the plus minus. Right? As we said, the profile tolerance has a data. The tolerance zone is related to datum A based on the theoretical dimension. All of the actual tolerance feature supposed to be within this tolerance zone. That means it's going to control any geometric tolerance of these parts of this top surface. The first one is the position. The highest and the lowest position supposed to be within 25 plus minus 0 0.2. So this is con going to control position requirements. Second one, the tilt. If this top surface is tilted against datum A, the deviation is supposed to be within the tolerance zone here. That means this profile tolerance will also control the orientation or parallelism. The last one is a deformation. Since the tolerance zone has the range of 0 0.4 here, from here to here, the, the range is 0 0.4. That means the maximum deformation or maximum flatness is 0 0.4. This profile controls form tolerance. This is why we said Profile with data is going to control a lot of things. It's going to control the location, orientation, and form tolerance. See here? Well, we are going to explain the relationship about profile tolerance with data and parallelism and flatness. As we mentioned, Profile tolerance with data will control the orientation. That means any orientation below this profile tolerance zone is supposed to be smaller than this 0 0.4. You are not supposed to be bigger or over this tolerance value. So this join here is not incorrect. Parallelism will never reach 0 0.5. This is not incorrect. Same thing for here. 
profile tolerance with datum A will control the form tolerance. The maximum form tolerance is 0 0.04. The flatness here is useless. You will never reach the 0 0.5 flatness. All right. We are also going to explain the profile tolerance applied to the curved surface in the late module. In this module, the main purpose is just give you brief idea, uh, first initial understanding about profile tolerance. And also, we need to understand the difference between the profile tolerance and linear tolerance when we use it to specify the position. Now we use this profile tolerance to specify the position. Here, profile tolerance is applied to top surface. Datum A is the bottom surface. This one is going to be TED or theoretical exact dimension. It means based on the nominal or true position, the top surface allowed to deviate plus minus 0 0.2. The torrent zone is two parallel surface centered at nominal position. When we measure these parts, we are clearly know the data is the bottom surface or short side because it's specified here. On the contrary of this join, as we mentioned, we don't know which side should be the datum. We should transform this plus linear tolerance to profile tolerance in order to have a unique understanding. Everyone use this join, they will know where is the datum, which one is the torrent's feature. There's no confusion. All right, let's have a quick review about this module. In this module, we have learned profile tolerance with data and without data. And we also know profile tolerance with data is going to control three deviations, form, orientation, and location. And we also know profile tolerance is better than linear tolerance applied to specify the position tolerance. We strongly recommend don't use the linear tolerance to control the position or distance. You should use the profile tolerance with data. Thanks for watching. In the next module, we are going to compare the position tolerance with linear tolerance. But before that, we should understand the feature of size. This is very important. I will see you in the next module. Thanks.